What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aaliyah and for today's tutorial you're going to need a 2.75 millimeter hook and some scissors and the only stitches you're going to need to know is the double crochet. Today we're going to be learning how to do these really super easy shorts. All you need to know is double crochet. That's it. And this is part two of my two part series. I'll put a link and then uh, a card in the upper right corner so you guys can check out part one. Alright, so part number two, grab your 2.75 millimeter hook and you are going to chain up a chain of um, 12 chains. So chain up a chain of 12. <clears throat> And then you're going to put a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. I'm going into that back hump there. That's just personal preference. So put a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. That chain three counts as the first double crochet. And you continue double crocheting down. And you should have a total of ten double crochets. And then chain three, turn your work. And you're going to start double crocheting into the back loops only so this is the waistband for your shorts we're doing the waistband so we're going into that back loop don't go into the both of those two loops just that back one and that's going to create a nice ribbed effect for your um waist for your waistband makes it a little stretchy gives it a little a little extra give you know so yeah going into those back loops once again just like this All right, so this is what your waistband should look like. You should um, make it as long as to fit around your waist comfortably, not too tight, not too loose. And now we're going to just um, connect the two ends together to make it uh, circular by single crochet. I decided to connect mine by single crochet, but you can choose to connect yours with slip stitch or you can sew it together. It's up to you. I find it easier to either slip stitch or single crochet. It doesn't really matter. In this specific case, I decided to slip stitch. Just make sure everything is lined up nice like this. Alright, so we sewed it together and just like just so you can see with the single crochet, it makes a really nice seam. It doesn't bunch it together and you virtually cannot see it at all once you flip it around to the other side. But remember you're gonna be working on the inside out so you want the outside seam to be facing while you're working okay so now i'm just going to chain up three and i'm going to um, tuck in my loose end here but i'm going to be working around the perimeter of the waistband and i'm going to be putting two double crochet into the side of each double crochet just like this so chain up three and then i put two double crochet into each double crochet space Put it around the entire space just like i'm showing you here and while i'm doing that i'm tucking in my end because you know we tuck it in as we go we don't sew in around these parts <laughs> but anyway yes we are double crocheting around and then now we're um, at the end of our first row and i'm just going to slip stitch into the chat chain three and then I'm going to chain up another three and we're going to turn our work make sure you guys turn your work because that will prevent a um, diagonal seam make sure you turn your work each round when you're working in the round that's a good tip is to turn your work so that you don't get that ugly seam so yes and we're just going to continue double crocheting i did mine for about 10 rows but um that's just based on my body type you can make it longer or shorter. I think um, 10 rows is good for me though. So now we're going to do the crotch. So I chain up three at the end of my 10 rows. So this would be row number 11. And then I double crochet. I think I did five double crochet wide for my crotch. 
just like this. Yes, I did five. And then I'm going to chain three, turn my work, and I'm going to do this for a total of six rows. And this is creating the crotch area for the shorts. You can make yours wider if you want. You could do six or some people I know do eight. But I like to do five because I have a fairly small frame. So five works for me. And I do mine for six across. Um, you can really play with this. Try it on um, after you connect it to the other side and see if it works for you. Or you can adjust it from there. But yes. Okay, so now I am attaching it to my other side and I have a little stitch marker there, which is just some scrap yarn. We ain't buying no stitch markers. And um, I made sure it's even on both sides and I go ahead and connect my crotch to the other side of my work. Make sure it's even, y'all. Make sure y'all line it up even, do the math. You know, come on, take the steps to do the math. Make sure it's nice and even. You don't want them legs wonky. But yeah, I just connected mine with um, single crochet, just like I did for my waistband when I connected my waistband. I just did it with single crochet. I've been trying to film this tutorial all day for you guys. It's like 1 a.m. right now. I'm trying to, it's um, Tuesday night, or I guess it's Wednesday, but I'm trying to get this uploaded for y'all on Wednesday. I'm just going to head and speed it up. All right. And once you have connected your crotch, this is what it should look like. This is the inside. Make sure, you know, you guys, we're working from, we're going to flip it inside out when we're finished. So don't worry about the seam or anything like that. But that's what it should look like. And then I'm just, from there, I'm not going to cut my yarn or nothing like that. I'm just going to chain up three from there. And we're working in the crotch. And just like we did with the waistband, we're going to put two double crochet into the side of each double crochet from the previous round, just like this. Super easy, you guys. This is just double crocheting, only one hook, you know, not too much cutting yarn. I mean, I guess you are attaching yarn a couple times, but it's fairly simple. And I put a double crochet, when I get around to my regular um double crochets i just put one double crochet in each all the way around we're not increasing or decreasing or anything crazy like that and then when you get around to the beginning of your row attach with a slip stitch to that chain three chain up three don't forget to turn your work when you're working in a round turn your work and then we're just going to continue double crocheting now i actually ran out of yarn so i only did two rows for each of my pant legs but um normally i would do five rows for each of my pant legs but you could really make it as long or as short as you want i did two rows for each pant leg because i ran out of yarn simply um when you do the second leg you just attach it as normal and continue doing your double crochets around like you did the first leg and that's it these are my shorts they're a little bit short but you know i like them i don't mind i could always add um, more rows later and I didn't put a drawstring. Doesn't really need a drawstring. Um, that's it, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching this really easy tutorial on how to do some shorts. Make sure you check out my Instagram. Make sure you check out my online shop. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. And I'm so excited, y'all. I just hit 100 subscribers. So, shout out to me. Bye.